Okay, what we'll do here is um, cut out using the needle tool from template number one. Make sure you don't undercut the clay. Try to keep the needle tool straight up and down. And then peel away the excess clay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the canvas over so that we can flip the uh, template board along with the clay so that the clay side will be facing up and the board will be down on the bottom. I'll try to peel this back at a 45 degree angle, not quite that 90 that he's using. It, it won't lift up the clay as much if you do that. Okay, grab the board carefully and then put your foam on top of it, flipping it over so that the clay is resting on top of the foam. Then you're going to remove the uh, template board carefully, not damaging your clay. And you can see the textures that you've put in there are still there. Now you're going to take the number two template board and you're going to center that in your uh, rectangle there and then press down with some pretty good force. Try to try to push it through the table if you can. Um, try to make some creases on the side too. I mean if you the, the the more crease in that clay you have the less it it'll have a problem when it uh, when it's drying with warpage. Carefully remove the um, template board it's kind of bound there into the clay, so if you pull on that clay a little bit and stretch it just a little bit away from that board, that board will release a little bit easier. Um, sometimes a needle tool or something very carefully in there and just pop it up. Now if you flip it back over like a pizza and hold that board and you'll hold the clay and the board together, now you'll put a, rest a little a drying bat on top of your tray, the clay, and flip it back over. So that now you can remove um, your inside board there. And that's it. It's that simple. Took less than uh, four minutes.